Good afternoon, YouTube family. Martinez Country Home here. Uh, guys, I'm making this video because um, just came out. Uh, I believe it was, I, I first heard about it yesterday, but uh, a couple of videos have come out already today. One by uh, by Rudy from Alaska Prepper and also from Mike uh, from Rethinking the Dollar. And they're talking about this. Um, uh, it's a, it's a basically a global treaty, and it, it's called the Global uh, Pandemic Treaty. And already, if I'm not mistaken, 195 uh, countries have, have signed on to it. And um, what it is is it 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 lets who uh, declare if they declare some kind of a health emergency for any country, it basically gives them the power to to, to basically make the laws because of that health emergency okay if, if, there, if, if an emer uh, emergency happens in any country or worldwide they can basically take over the the you know take over power you know because you know under the the guise of uh, of a health emergency right and that's kind of like what almost uh cdc was trying to say uh, even osha um that they have the power they have power to make, you know, I guess, um, you know, uh, policies because of that health emergency and which o would override laws of that f sovereign nation. So, I, if I'm not mistaken, guys, a lot of times during this uh, this past health crisis, that happened a lot in, the, in a lot of these countries. Um, a lot of unelected health officials were basically making mandates and and the edicts you know with the with the under the color of law and they you know they that is how they pushed whatever agenda they were trying to push you know hopefully i don't this doesn't get me uh, in trouble but um and so another reason why i brought this up i'm bringing this up is because i mean that's very important that they can and and from what i hear it's another person that also is talking about it is Never Lose Truth, uh, Carol Clark from uh, Never Lose Truth. Um, she's also talking about this, what's going on. And it reminds me a lot of like basically like around 2014, 2013, when they were talking about the TTP and the and the, the, Trans the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which would basically give foreign courts uh, sovereignty, uh, you know, power over other other, over other countries because of commerce, right? Um, so there's a lot of things going on right now, guys. Where there, it you can see where they're trying to make, they're trying to bring in global government on all these different levels. So that's just one, the one I just mentioned uh, with with who in charge. And I will leave links to all of all of this. What I'm talking about, guys. I will leave links in the description uh, so that y'all can follow up. Um, so also I read another article yesterday called uh, about COP26 which uh, was um, from the United Nations now they met last year and it was basically on climate change right um, and so this I'm gonna read what it says I guess like their mission statement or whatever it says in this treaty nations agreed to stabilize greenhouse gas concentrations in the atmosphere to prevent dangerous interference from human activity on on the climate systems today it has 197 signatories right and this originally was uh came out uh in 1992 in rio de janeiro when basically when agenda 21 came about and it was called uh the un framework on climate change convention i mean i'm sorry the un framework convention on climate change uh, otherwise known as unfccc now this COP26 was last year, and and oddly enough, they had to kind of soften the language on coal plants because China and India kind of like said, hey, you know what, we're not, you know, which they're they're one of the dirtiest polluters in the planet, and uh, they they kind of like said, hey, you know what, this this language is too strong, you know, we're not gonna shut down our power plants or whatever, so they basically bowed down to them. Um, so one of the things that it said on this on this COP26 was uh, one of the mission statements was coal plants are to be given tighter deadlines by governments for updating their plans to reduce emissions. 
And when I read that statement, guys, it reminded me of uh, a story that I read just last week on, on here in my city, uh, one of the power plants in uh, Calaveras Lake, which is right by where I live at. I mean, it's like literally, you know, not too far from where I live. And those plants, there's there's two of them actually, is uh, the the plant at Brony Lake and the one at Calaveras. And they were, they're saying that Calaveras, the Calaveras plant is, their emissions are too high of, of, of uh, CO2. Um, so I just read this today, uh, this this part about the coal plants, and it it literally is word for word what what the county commissioners or whatever here the the I'm sorry not the county commissioners excuse me uh, this this entity uh, these uh, grassroots whatever these people uh, in the city that are basically formed to to bring about policies from the UN. And they use guys, I don't know if you ever heard of, uh, um, they're called, they usually call them a council of governments. Uh, there's one here in, in this area, in Bear County, and it's called the Alamo Area Council of Governments, ACOG. And they're unelected. Uh, they meet, most of these guys are officials from, from the different uh, municipalities. They meet together and they basically talk about UN agendas and they, they then they go to their city councils and they pass these agendas okay and they pass them as law that's the way they're doing it UN treat UN uh, agendas are being passed at the county level at the city level in this manner there there there's um there's council of mayors uh all these things guys that are happening right under our nose and and basically what we're seeing guys is the 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 sovereignty and our, our our natural rights are being usurped by unelected officials, by foreigners, foreign entities, foreign governments. Uh, so, you know, I just wanted to tie in with what what we talked about with who, because there it it's it's a lot of facets, not just the medical. Although they get more legitimacy, I guess, because they can people will not research guys people cannot think for themselves and so whatever they hear on tv that's what they do that's what they go for i mean they they believe it as fact because they heard it on the tv from some big media outlet or whatever and so they 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 accept it as fact and so they bring down everybody else you know they bring everybody else down with them so again guys i'm going to leave this link um I've been talking about this for years. Uh, the thing is, I believe, guys, this is now, this is my opinion, but all these uh, treaties that are passed, like with the climate change and with uh, whatever, with all these different um, uh, unelected entities that are making laws, I think they're already making them. And, and I believe that where you see that is like, if you look at your power bills, uh, your utility bills, uh, you see all these, uh, all these, uh, fees and and uh charges and your and like your cable bill or whatever um you see like the fcc uh this and that service charges and those guys are are in my opinion in my educated opinion um are just are are, are brought about because they're basically we're paying other entities that's that's what we're doing guys uh it's we're barely we're basically getting taxed you know, just like the, 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 the serfs from the Middle Ages by the feudal lords. I mean, this is all, all it is. And, and it seems like every day they're, they're tightening their grip. And I'm seeing it all around me. Uh, I'm seeing it with the food, how they're destroying the food production. Uh, their, their, their food, food production, food distribution. Um, it's happening right in front of our faces, guys. Um, it, and, and it used to be subtle, but it, now it's like really in your face. But I think some people are just, they can't believe it. I mean, they don't think it's possible, but uh, I'm seeing it. Uh, it's, it's, it's engineered and it's manufactured, in my opinion, again, in my opinion, to get people to finally do what they're, what 
by force because the only way they're going to be able to get what they need, their, whether food, money, whatever, is going to be by bowing down to these governments uh, or entities and because they're not prepared. So um, they're trying to bring about a cashless society, guys. Um, these entities want to be the ones that provide the, 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 the things that humanity needs, but it's going to be on their terms. And so, in my opinion, um, one of the ways they're going to do it is they're going to try and take us cashless and um, they're going to take us cashless and they're going to implement, like for example, they'll, they will implement the carbon credits. Um, and those will just basically be, just be deducted. I, I'm thinking will be just just be deducted out of your account or whatever you want to call it, whatever your your allotment. Um, so depending on how much you consume, guys. If y'all y'all see a lot of uh, like where they coupon, you know, where uh, or like if you make purchases and you get so many points off, and then you know you make so many points, and then you can uh, redeem them like either ten cents off like gasoline or groceries or whatever um you just scan your your receipt or whatever guys um i think that's the database that they're going to use to see how much people consume that's how they're going to do it um they can see people do everything online a lot of people pay everything with with a card um and so people are just basically building their own their own file um on themselves and so i think that's the way they're going to do it um and that's why this is happening because they're going to bring about, they're trying to bring about their their cashless society and, and bring about those carbon credits. All of this is connected, guys. The health, the, this global pandemic treaty and uh, the climate change agenda, all these things, guys, are, 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 are related. Um, and they're on track. Uh, I used to think that Agenda 21 was not on track. And, you know, the health crisis, the way they did, the way they used the health crisis of 2020, it let me know that they're right on track, guys. Um, they're right on track. It's like a a train that you just unstoppable. Um, you just either get out of the way or you know you somehow try to get a hitch on for the ride and 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 use it to your advantage. Um, so um, anyway, guys, um, I'm gonna leave relevant links in the description, and um, you know y'all just keep stocking up, guys. I mean it. We can only stock up so much, so much, excuse me. We can only stock up so much, guys. Uh, but the point of doing this is because, is that so that not only does it give us time to prepare for whatever changes are going to be coming, but there will be changes. And when, when we change from one system to the other, it's going to be very bad, guys. And so our preparations are, our preparations are going to allow us to ride out this storm so that we can come out on the other side. And, and be able to live to fight another day, you know, and, and, and work to give our children a better future and, and, and make things and pave the way for them. Okay, so um, anyway, guys, again, hope you're doing well. Um, you know, just keep prepping, guys, keep preparing. And it, it's nothing outrageous. It's nothing to feel weird about. You know, we're... we're you always prepare, you know, for whatever dangers. If you live somewhere where there's a lot of flooding or somewhere where there's a lot of fires, you're gonna have your your emergency preparations for for that. Or if you live in Tornado Alley in the Midwest, you're gonna be prepared for tornadoes. So this is no different, guys. You know, we wanna we wanna protect our families and make sure that they're provided for, and that we're able to ride out any storm as much as we can. Um. I, I heard real quick, I heard, uh, you know, Mike bring about a good point from RTD about whether are we strained from God because, you know, are we depending too much on our preps instead of depending on God? And I've never seen it like that, although I, I, I can understand why that, would be, that why that would be brought up. But I believe that it was God who wakes us up. And, and touches our heart so that we're able to so to make us prepare and protect our families. There's many passages in the Bible, guys, where it tells you to prepare for for 
for the things that are not expected. Um, it's not that we're not depending on God. I, I, I feel like that is a blessing from God to, to, to help us wake up and, and to prepare and, and, and so that that's one less problem in the world. I don't see it. I don't see no, no problem with that. That's my opinion. Um, I see it as a blessing that he, he was able to move our, soften our hearts and, and wake up from, from all this madness that is going on around us. Just my opinion, guys. So anyway, um, y'all take care of each other and love each other out there because that's what we're here for. God bless.